hello and welcome back to my channel and vlogmas today i am going to attempt something that i've wanted to do for a while but it's been kind of scary to me and it still honestly is very daunting looking at all this in front of me right now i'm going to do a red lipstick showdown basically of every red lipstick that i own or bought for this i know people are very particular about their red lipsticks once you find one and it works for you you hold on to it for years and years and years and keep buying the same one but here's the deal i don't really have a favorite red lipstick so i have a couple of contenders they're going to put through some tests when i say a couple i actually mean more than i was planning on doing but i found more in some recent pr packages so we're gonna run through first is the mac ruby woo second is the bare minerals um hustler tube lipstick next up is the sephora collection red tube lipstick and we have a bare minerals liquid lip in shade vip and it's also matte then we have a sephora collection liquid lip in shade i honestly can't even read that it's so tiny at the bottom i'll find out though before i test it and the last thing we're going to do is the shade daenerys targaryen from the urban decay game of thrones line i'm praying for my lips i have some tools to help me most importantly is chapstick my poor lips i have makeup wipes i have my makeup mirror i have um a mug that i'm gonna be drinking out of for some testing and then i'm also going to be blotting with some paper towels i figured this would be easiest because it's white so let's get started shall we i'm gonna zoom you in and we're gonna pray that my poor skin around my lips does not completely dry out tonight we're gonna start off with ruby woo because i think this is like one of the cult red lipsticks this is in a tube it's a very bright red. I, I don't know anything about like undertones and stuff. Obviously, whenever you put red lipstick on, if you have cool undertones, you want the red lipstick to have cool undertones. And if you have warm undertones, you want it to have warm. Otherwise, it'll look really weird on your face. But I'm really bad at looking at like a red color and being like, that is this undertone. So we're just going to go into this kind of blind and see what happens. Okay, it's really smooth putting on. application wise i was actually really seamless pleasantly surprised um the color is also not um i guess what i was expecting it's a little more like raspberry looking when it's on maybe it's just compared to the red shade that i have in my headband today doesn't feel like drying on my lips at all i'm gonna give it a second to set and then we're gonna start doing some tests okay so i guess i'm gonna start with just like the blot test So, I mean, a decent amount came off, but my lips still seem to have the color on it. I'll try to redistribute, and now we're gonna do the drink test. I really hope that it comes off this mug. I love this mug. It's my dog. Okay. So we do have some lip marks on here, albeit not that crazy. Um, lip color. Definitely, um, I think you can like notice that some of it's gone, but it's overall, you know, still staying on. My lips still feel hydrated. I guess we're just gonna like go around the rim of this and see which looks the worst as well as move down this blot. So, Ruby Woo, first up. Now we get to have the fun part, which I'm so nervous about, and taking it off. Okay, uh, I'm not really testing this, but um, for coming off, it came off and didn't really leave any marks, which is actually great because everyone knows the second day red lipstick stains on your lips. So next up, we're trying the Sephora Collection Tube Red Lipstick. This is in shade um, 22 and it's matte. Okay. Okay. 
um, application. This was a little harder to apply. I felt like it came off more liberally than the Ruby Woo. Overall, I'm not, um, not like unhappy with the color. It's definitely brighter. It looks kind of similar. Maybe a little bit more came off on the top, but maybe that was just me putting on more on the top. Actually, it looks like a similar amount came off, but I can tell you that the formula looks a little different as I'm looking at it on this mug. Overall though, this is, I think, a really affordable option. It's a little bit brighter of a color, but it's staying on decently well. Okay, now we're moving on to the Bare Minerals Stick Tube Lipstick in Hustler. This is a bit of a darker shade and I think less bright. Okay, so this is actually a little bit metallic, which I was not expecting, but I'm very into it. This definitely had more easy application. It was similar to Ruby Woo in that aspect. I think that's just because the formula of the lipstick is a little higher quality than the Sephora collection. Overall, I kind of like that it's a darker red and not as in your face. We're gonna try the blot test and then the cup test. Okay, so this is the blot test. A decent amount came off, but like I feel like you can't notice the difference as much as you could with the other two. Now we're gonna do the mug test. Definitely noticeable on here. Um, I will say though that it came off more smoothly than the Sephora collection and honestly it still looks pretty good to me. I like this color though. I like that it's a little bit darker and I like that there's a little bit of shimmer to it. Okay, I had to change the camera battery out and so I think this is about where we were zoomed in wise. Took off the Bare Minerals while that was happening. Really easy to come off. So now we're going to try Bare Minerals Liquid Formula in the shade VIP. This is matte and I actually have been using this recently. Okay, so this is definitely a brighter color than the Bare Minerals Tube lipstick was. I love the Bare Minerals liquid formula though. It's super buttery and the matte is not super drying at all. Now we're gonna test it. That actually looks like it's the least, which is kind of surprising, but it does feel very soft. Now we're going to do my little mug test. Would you look at that? Also the least. Okay, so, so far this seems to be the winner as far as longevity, but I know some people prefer tube lipsticks to liquid and some people love lipsticks that are liquid only and will not do any tube so let's keep this in mind i will say that this is a brighter shade though like i said so if you want something that's a little more muted i don't think this is the vip shade for you i'm already starting to get in the sides of my mouth like my skin's getting irritated next up is the sephora collection lipstick in its shade 94. This looks to be a little darker as well. Okay, this is already tingling on my lips, which is normally not a good sign. That normally means it's gonna be drying for me. Kind of messed up on the right up there, but I mean the color is nice. It seems like a liquid version of this color actually. It's a little bit darker, more of like a crimson I'd say than like a bright red. I like the color, but it dried but yeah this is a lip stain which means it's not supposed to come off so maybe that's why it's so dry we're gonna try it out guys there's nothing there there's like maybe like one little section like right there but whoa maybe that's what you get like you get dry lips but it won't come off Gonna try the mug. A little bit of residue, if you can see that. I know the lighting's kind of like glaring on it, but overall, this is on. 
this is like staying on. The radio concern is not about your lips being hydrated. You want like a darker color and you want it to stay on. This Sephora lip stain, I guess that was the tingling of it like tightening on my lips. Maybe that's what I felt. That's crazy. Nothing, nothing wild to me. Okay, this is gonna come off. Let's see how hard this is to take off though. Okay, this is painful to take off, I'm not gonna lie. Cause you have to apply a lot more pressure and I think it's just because my lips are already kind of like sensitive with the other lipsticks coming on and off. So it shouldn't like hurt you too much if you're just wearing this and taking it off. But it is on there, like you have to put in some effort to get it off. I'm also starting to notice that the red is coming off my lips onto my face. So we're just gonna pretend that we don't see that because I don't have time to go put on more concealer right now. My lips are officially hurting from all the scrubbing. We are one, two, three, four, five lipsticks in. We're on our last, which is the Game of Thrones, Urban Decay, Daenerys Targaryen, which is also supposed to be a little bit metallic. I really like this for the same reasons I kind of like the Bay Minerals. These are very, very similar to me. This has a lot more metallic though. This was a little bit more subtle shimmer. Goes on really nicely. Whenever you're paying for a more expensive tube lipstick, you're paying for a more expensive formula, which is why it goes on easier. So we're gonna test this now. Yep, we're back to there being color on here. The lip stains are gone. And I'll do my final mug test. Yeah, a decent amount of this came off, but that doesn't affect the color on my face that I'm seeing right now, which is honestly great. All the six lipsticks are done. We've applied them all. Out of these, I would say that if you are wanting something that will just not budge, go for the Sephora brand lip stains. These are really inexpensive and clearly we've proven they work. If you're going for a really nice but hydrated liquid lipstick, I would go with the Bare Minerals. It just feels buttery and creamy, which is something that not a lot of liquid lips give you. And as far as tube lipsticks, we found a lot of great options. Honestly, I think the Sephora was a little bit brighter and obviously cheaper formula than the other brands, but it still held up and had similar results compared to the more expensive brands. We have two really fun metallic options and a lot of people just swear by the Ruby Woo and I do like that color a lot too. I'll have links to everything that I've tried on, including the accessories to film this with my makeup mirror, makeup wipes, etc. below. And I will see you guys back tomorrow for more Vlogmas. Bye guys.